Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. In this content, we'll be looking into some science on how varying lengths of water fasting affects blood sugar levels, as well as blood glycation, known as HbA1c measure. Learn your body, a science-based education. This content is brought to us by a study I will have linked for you as well as my notes and any content amendments. Briefly, a bit on the study design before we get to the results. This study was prospective, meaning the researchers did not implement any intervention and simply followed people already committing to a water fast under the supervision of personnel at a fasting institution. Participants of the study chose to fast for either 5, 10, 15, or 20 days in a row and had to be in generally good health, although participants tended to be overweight and had some blood pressure issues. Although a straight water fast would have been preferable, all participants consumed a 200 calorie soup each day, but the rest of the time they consumed water. Measurements were taken before the beginning of the study, therefore before the fast, and then again at the end of the respective fasts. Unfortunately, there were significant weight differences between the 5, 10, 15, and 20 day conditions pre-study, which makes the comparisons between the groups difficult, but we will still be able to compare their pre-fasting measures to their post-fasting measures. And now, let's look at the study data. Blood glucose, sugar, was separated out between men and women, with women being open circles and men being dark triangles. In both sexes, there was a significant decline in blood glucose after only five days of fasting, which did not decrease further with longer fasting periods, implying the effect is rapid and does not follow a dose-response relationship, meaning more fasting does not bring about better results. Shifting to HbA1c, a marker of glycation, otherwise stated, a marker of sugar being attached to hemoglobin, a key protein in red blood cells, which is an indication of long-term blood glucose pathology, as elevated A1c indicates the blood cells are continuously traveling in a high blood glucose and spontaneously being tagged with sugars in a pathological manner, making them less functional. The data here showed the exact same trend as with regular blood sugar measure, an immediate decrease, a good sign with five days of fasting and no added improvement with 20 days of fasting. So this data tells us that water fasting is a potent reducer of blood sugar in men and women alike. And this effect is quick, happening within the first five days, and not compounding over time, meaning the effect after five days is the same effect size seen after 15 or 20 days of fasting. With that said, that is what I have for you, and I hope to have the absolute pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Bye.